Hey, your viewers and viewers, this is my name is John Red Strategist. Welcome back to Being Hunted, episode 354 now. So, remember in the last episode, we made our way here to the North Island to commence, well, more of our turntables challenge attempt number two, that is. And uh, I was kind of hanging around actually a lot by that Victorian mansion just before, not really doing anything other than just yammering on. Um, it appears that the robots have actually reset at the building, which is not ideal, because I kind of wanted them just to disappear before so I could uh, just come back up here and uh, hopefully ambush some people. Basically I was waiting around for a while before uh, any of the robots showed up. Got him. There we go. So we're going to try this again ladies and gentlemen. We're going to sit around outside the old house and we're going to see if we can actually wait for some robots to appear. So when I say wait, actually I don't mean wait at all. I actually mean try and lure the robots over using our super fantastic trombone. Ladies and gentlemen. So just keep doing that every so often. Hopefully this time we'll try and attract some kind of attention. At least that's what I'm thinking. The problem is this is set to very much a kind of mountains biome-esque sort of landscape. And the issue with that is that there's not a lot of villages, so not a lot of structures. And so I sometimes think with mountain biomes in Surrey being hunted, do you often... Do they... Compare, compared to other biomes, do they not get as many robots actually spawning in them? Which is a kind of bit of food for thought, really. It's a question I've never really thought about whenever I played this game before. Because you know me, I've played so much of Sea being hunted, and yet I sometimes feel like there's a lot of questions that I still have about the game, still things that I don't really understand about its mechanics. Because I'm a bit of a noob, that's why. Okay, it appears there is actually a village on this island. I thought I'd set this to a customised mountain biome, but I didn't realise you could actually get this on a mountain biome. Unless I'd accidentally set the, uh, flip him. Unless I set the, uh, villagers to actually appear on this one, I don't know. If I can just try and lure someone out, like this bloody squire, for example, and see if I can just lead him down towards the mansion. Come on. You coming? Come on. This is how you uh, do it, ladies and gentlemen. You draw someone towards you. <laughs> Sound. You still coming? Is he there? Oh, he's up there. No, he just seems to have stopped. Okay. He doesn't seem to be interested in actually coming down here. Nope. Okay, so it seems that Squire maybe has a bit of a radius there that stops him going too far outside his village. Maybe. Or is he just going to stand there indefinitely? You see, this is how you might actually be able to... Uh, <laughs> get back to the village and uh, raid it whilst he's uh, not looking. Right, we'll get back down to that mansion in a bit, don't you worry. Ooh, we have got friggin... we got friggin' hunters in there. Maybe we can draw them out. Where are they? Hello? Good lord. This episode is going to be all about uh, trombone playing, ladies and gentlemen. Where are they? Okay, I'm not going to keep playing that indefinitely, otherwise... Oh god, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to... Come on, come round here. What's he doing? Okay, draw him out. That robot does not seem to want to come over here, does he? He just seems to be stuck there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Squire's just standing there thinking, I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but uh, okay. Is there someone else around there? Go on. Well, there's a couple of guys over there, but they just don't seem to be coming in this direction. I think they're stuck. This is actually kind of difficult to uh, get someone down towards that mansion. Maybe we need to look elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe we are just uh, pursuing a bit of a fruitless endeavour over here. Man, this turntable's challenge is actually becoming harder and harder, isn't it? I don't think I've ever used the trombone so much in one episode. Okay, maybe we need to try and find hunters from elsewhere and just lure them in this direction towards the mansion. At least no robots have respawned there, though. That's good, isn't it? Sometimes wonder, with the mechanics of this game, is it the case that perhaps the hunters um, 
spawn in around certain buildings when you load in to a map? And what happens if you then kill them and then leave the building for a very long time? Will it eventually get some more hunters by it? I don't know. You see, if there was a device piece around somewhere with some hunters by it, you could try drawing them out. But I don't really see one. At least not around this location. I feel like I heard some thumping a moment ago. I don't know if that was the music or if that was the bloody bland owner. We do need to watch out for that one. Um, hello? Hello? Is there anyone around by this village who we might be able to draw away? Looks like there might be something up there. Is that a priory or a... It might be a ruined priory, that, over there. I'm not sure. Do hear more robots somewhere. Oh, was that a poacher? That was a poacher. I think I just drew out, apparently. Yeah, there's a priory over there. Well, we've got big buildings off in that direction we can try out, can't we? That's going to be uh, something to uh, definitely attempt. Let me eat some fruitcake while I'm at it. Okay, maybe, actually, we could do this better. Maybe, if we go over here and go over towards that priory and do stuff over there. We can draw that poacher out from the woods if we go over here. Because there don't seem to be many hunters in this landscape now, do there? I don't know what's going on over there. It's just big crags in the background. It's very dramatic, doesn't it? Okay, let's get to our position. Our position, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Surely you must be able to hear this, right? <laughs> I hear hunters. Okay. Oh, God. That's how you draw them? Okay. Wait for them. Right, there's hunters here. Maybe we can uh, wait for them to come round and then just blast them. Maybe? Where are they? Okay. Ooh. Gotta watch out for the poacher, though. Otherwise, he's gonna be an issue. Right, one down. Wait for him. Oh, no, you don't. Got him. That flipping poacher is down there somewhere, being a bit of a bitch. <laughs> He's probably just wondering what's actually going on. Just heard a lot of... Oh, wait. Don't. You're not going to see anything, you little bastard. Okay, well, we've done an ambush over here. We've succeeded in that regard. It's just that bloody mansion that's a problem, because it's in a weird location. It's in a location that's not... Well, it makes it not too easy to actually pull this off. But we'll keep trying, we'll keep persevering. Where's that other hunter who I killed? He's over here. Let's keep my head down. There might be a bloody... Oh, hello. Well, there's a couple of hunters up there. There's a, uh, another building around. Aha, there is a mill up there. Go up to mill. I hope those two over there are not actually from that mill. If I can get back to there before they do, that might actually work out really well in my favour, because then I can ambush them as they return, assuming that's what they're trying to do. Uh, let's have a look in here now. Well, I've got my dynamite as well, actually, haven't I? It's a cottage, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wow, there's loads of fucking dynamite in here. I'll take it all. Oh, okay, right. Nope. Stop. Take that. Oh, God damn it! I was going to try and bomb them, but never mind. Did I get the uh, dog? No, I didn't. Dog's not dead. Dog ain't dead. Oh, come on. I don't think I killed anyone there, but never mind. There we go. Ambush in progress. We're doing it. And get the dog as well, whilst we can. Whoa! Or not. Damn, why are the dogs so fucking annoyingly strong? They are, aren't they? Oi, come here, you bastard. Or run off, as you do. Go up on the stairs here so he can't get me. He's just going to piss off and do his own thing. Well, that's fine as well, isn't it? Unless you're going to come back. Where's that poacher? I hear him down there. Him pissing around, whatever he's doing. Okay. Hunter? Where were you? Where did I, where did I kill you? You're around somewhere, aren't you? Can you see the sparks anywhere, anybody? God damn it, I've already lost the body. Oh, he's here. Here he is. He was coming around that. Well, I'll just eat the mints anyway, won't I? Because why the hell not? Man, I never used that trombone so much. Right, let's get the fresh dynamite out of there. That's always very useful. Next we'll go over to the cottage and we'll do our ambush from over there. Oh my good lord, there's so much of this good stuff. Uh, let's see now if I can move things around. Get another stick there. Um, 
haven't really got any... Uh, I was about to say I haven't really got any other space, but actually no, I have. Man, you always find so much dynamite in these large buildings, don't you? It's really, really good. Alright, trombone out, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to uh, do some more tromboning. Hmm. Uh, actually, we'll uh, investigate the interior of this building first. I wonder if we can lure the old poacher dude out. He's got gunpowder and shot in there. Is this where you're from, Mr. Poacher? You hear that? Hmm. There's a building over there. Oh god, the fucking landowner's actually not far away. I need to be a tad careful here, not to draw him too close to where we actually are. He's not coming this way, is he? Or is he... He's awkwardly close. I don't think we want him coming over here, do we? Oh no, we don't want that, lads and lasses. Right, I think we should maybe back off a little bit. And just wait for him to go past. Because I really don't want him coming up here, which he is actually doing, and causing a few problems for us. Alright, let's back up. God, that's a steep-ass hill, that is, isn't it? Urf. I could drop up. I hear another poacher, wherever he is. Mr. Landowner? Where are you? Ah, you're sort of going off in that direction. Yeah, hey, you've got another building over there. It's like a barn or something. Now, if it's a barn, then we're not, need we're not really need to get it there. We're not really going to need to worry too much about that, are we? Just need to let the old landowner bugger off and do his own thing. And I'm quite happy with that. Him and his two robotic hounds. The houndses. So if he can go off and just, you know, leave us alone go back down there and start doing my uh, doing my thing again. Hmm. In the meantime, all I can really do here is just sit here and just drink my tea and wait for him to uh, be on his merry way. There's the mill I just came from. Actually, you know what, whilst we're waiting, let's actually scale this bloody hill so we can get a real good view probably from up here. God, it's one of those ones where you just have to spam the jump key until eventually your character gets up it. <laughs> Oh god, this is ugh, awkward. Go, go on. God, this is what you get when you mess around with the terrain generator, isn't it? You get really crazy big hills like this. But I tell you though, we could probably get a hell of a view from the top of here. I named this hill Trombone Pike. Here we go. Oh, ugh, those crags up here as well. Yeah, see, no wonder it's so high. No wonder it's so vast. There we go, we made it. I always love with hills like this when they generate, they always have like a very <laughs> flat plateau at the very top. It's always a bit weird, isn't it? Now, can you see anything down there? I can't really see anything down there at all. all right, I probably was supposed to go up it from this side, but I took the hard way, it seems. That reminds me of um, one time when I was a kid. Me and my family went out to, um, well, went out for a walk in the countryside. I can't remember where this was exactly. It's probably somewhere in the Lake District. And um, I remember we were kind of climbing up this hill, but it was really fucking steep. It was like a 45 degree angle and higher. Oh, a pub down there. Okay. Well, at least you can see some interesting things from this angle, can't you? <laughs> Look at that angle there. Get that top down bird's eye view of it. All right, so that's there. So we can make a note of that just so that we don't forget that it's there. Okay. Right, let's head back down then. Trombone Pike. Great um, spot for sightseeing, but we're not going to do any uh, ambushes up here, are you now? Old Red, old Red, old fella, me lad. Let's go on the dangerous, yeah, dangerous attempt to scale down the hill. Like so. That's the mill. We don't want to go there. The mill by the hill. The mill by the hill, by Dr. Seuss. There was a mill at the foot of a hill. Said the fish with the oversized gill. Why don't you take a pill and then your name shall be Bill. Right, okay, that's enough Dr. Seussing. Time for tromboning again. Is anybody going to hear me? And come over? Come on. Oh, God damn it, you're all the way over there. Really? You must be able to hear this, surely? Come on. Always I just sort of spam that mouse wheel whenever I use this thing, just to get that pitch or whatever. Okay, I think he can hear, and he's coming over, that poacher. 
You probably can't really see him too well through the foliage. But he is there. What would you do if you were out walking through the countryside and this is what you just heard? You just heard a weird guy with a trombone doing the pitch. Getting the pitch all weird. Okay, we are getting that poacher over. We can do this. He's getting closer. Just back up a bit towards the cottage and then we'll do the ambush. What a uh, funny item this was. The old trombone, eh? When they put it into Surrey being hunted. Okay, here we go. Surely you can hear that from here. Now, the problem is he's going to come up over that lip and probably see me instantly. Do you see any movement, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry, that sound is going to get very repetitive. You're probably going to be sick of hearing that trombone by the end of this episode. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's coming up the hill. He saw me. Wait for it. Aha! I've got you now, mister. Oh, no you don't. Maybe I can uh, sort of wait for him to turn around and then we'll sneak up on him. No. Oh. Nope. Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, you don't. I'm going to blast you. Like that. There we go. Ugh. It's just the sound of that blunderbuss, man. When it goes off, it goes off big. And it always makes me jump a little bit. Because it's such a loud as fuck noise. I've got to eat some camp pie for that. Okay, what we need to do now, I think, is stand in the middle of this area and make a waypoint on the map. So that we know we've been here. Like so. So, if I open this, like so, and then put that there, drop marker one. Okay, right. Tell you what we're going to do, though. We are going to start wrapping this episode up, because I think that is probably a good enough place to uh, stop things right there, since we've uh, done ambushes on three buildings. So we haven't managed to do an ambush by that mansion, but we can keep trying that in due course with our trombone and whatever else have you. God, I've never used the trombone so much as I have used it in this episode, as I've said repeatedly throughout this video. That's the name of the video, of course. We're naming that hill over there. That's Trombone Pike. Take all your trombones to Trombone Pike, ladies and gentlemen, and give give your give you and your friends a good tromboning. But yes, that's the advice from this video. In case, um, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. Other than that, if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and that jazz. And I'll see you in part 355, everybody. Goodbye, all. You can just eat some sesame seeds or some. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. My voice really broke. Okay, that's her voice. You can just eat some sesame seeds or something. Um. What am I apparent? Oh, no, that's not it at all. Wow, so my voice can actually go quite high if I really put the effort in. <laughs> what am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food just gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokuma said. Hmm? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. He told me that, that, that told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving around, moving him around with the remote control. That. A weaponized story that could just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... Was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything?